The spiral galaxy, like the one in which we live, is a galaxy with a flattened disk and a central bulge from which emanate luminous spiral arms. As well as stars, the disk harbors extensive interstellar clouds of gas and dust. Surrounding the disk is a large spherical halo containing many older stars and globular clusters. Outside the visible halo is thought to be another much larger halo consisting of dark matter. There are two main types of spiral galaxy, ordinary spirals and barred spirals. Each of these is divided into subtypes, which differ in the prominence of the central bulge and how tightly wound the spiral arms are. Spiral galaxies and lenticular galaxies together make up the class known as disk galaxies. In diameter, spirals range from about 10,000 to 300,000 light years, and in mass, from about 1 billion to 500 billion solar masses. Spiral structure can apparently exist only in disk galaxies above a certain size. And although spirals represent 80% of the bright galaxies in regions outside of rich clusters, those having many members within a relatively compact region of space, there are no spirals with masses as low as those of many irregular galaxies and dwarf ellipticals. Visually, the most striking feature of a spiral galaxy is its arms. A spiral arm contains relatively young stars, open clusters, regions of ionized hydrogen and dust. It winds outward from the nucleus of a spiral galaxy into the disk. Usually two arms are present that wrap around in a well-defined pattern. However, some spirals have four or in rare cases three arms in an arrangement that may be complex and fragmentary. The arms are visible because of bright massive stars, the formation of which is triggered by the movement through the disk of density waves. The bulge is the spheroidal mass of stars that forms the central hub of spiral and lenticular galaxies, the yolk if such galaxies are imagined to resemble fried eggs. The bulge can vary greatly in size and prominence from one spiral galaxy to another. Stars that populate the bulge are mainly old population 2 objects, dating back to their galaxy's earliest period. Studying bulges can therefore tell astronomers about how galaxies formed and evolved. According to one current theory, a spiral galaxy begins as a giant, roughly spherical rotating mass of gas and dust, which gradually flattens out at the edges to create the disk. The original spherical shape lives on in the outermost region of a galaxy, the halo, and to a lesser extent in the bulge. However, this view is challenged by observations of some bulges. The bulge of the Triangulum Galaxy, for example, contains young and intermediate age stars and has a star distribution that suggests the disk goes all the way to the center. This raises questions about how the Triangulum Galaxy as a whole formed and what triggered the birth of the relatively youthful stars in the bulge. Many spirals, including our own, have a central bar. A barred spiral has a rectangular or cigar-shaped nucleus from the ends of which spiral arms extend. Bars are large bodies of gas, dust and stars that rotate as if they were solid objects. Typically, they are two to five times longer than they are wide and may contribute up to one-third of a galaxy's luminosity. By channeling gas and dust to the center of the galaxies, they may trigger bursts of star formation, or alternatively, feed material to a supermassive black hole in the galactic core. Bars are believed to represent a temporary stage in the life of some spiral systems. According to one theory, they form spontaneously through global disturbances in disk galaxies. Another theory suggests they come about from interactions with other galaxies nearby. 